What's up guys, it's Attack on Samurai, and here is another Pokemon Sun and Moon team builder for you guys. So, this team builder is going to be based on Koma O again. So, uh, if you guys saw me, so I've seen my, uh, I've seen that you guys really liked my, um, Turnator, uh, me, my shell smashing, uh, Turnator team that I had, uh, did a team builder on, uh, so, I decided, you know, hey, if you guys really liked it, then I may as well bring another one, um, so, anyways, uh, this team is going to focus mainly around Coma O, uh, now why I chose Coma O is because that dragon, that dragon and fighting typing is so good, um, well, I mean, it's, uh, I mean, it's, it's good, but it's not great, but it's, it's a very offensive typing is what I want to say um so uh so yeah I decided to go um with a mix coma o instead of you know going like physically offensive I mean, instead of going physical because well coma o has more of a special moveset than it does have a physical one because its physical moveset is actually pretty subpar like um it does get I think it gets outrage earthquake uh, Sky Uppercut, which is really not that great on it, um, because, you know, it can miss. Brick Break, which is very low, I mean, which isn't that great either. Um, I think I mentioned Earthquake already. Yeah, it isn't really, its moveset is actually pretty shallow, and it's, uh, physical, I mean, for its physical side, but on the special side, it gets some pretty good moves. Um, gets Draco, gets Flamethrower, Flash Cannon, um, Focus Blast, Clanging Scales, as you can see on my set, um... I think I mentioned Flash Cannon. I think I mentioned uh, Flash Cannon already. Um, I think some other moves as well. But Como o has de definitely has more of a special moveset than it does have a physical one. So yeah, but it can still function as a mix attacker very well. Um, so that's why I decided to go with the mix set. So its move set is going to be Autonomize, Clanging Scales, Focus Blast, and Poison Jab. Um, being rocking the uh, mild nature and being max special attack, max speed with four in attack, holding a life orb, and its ability is bulletproof. So, the main purpose that Como o has on this team is to just break walls. So it's kind of like a, it's just that mon that's just gonna come in and just do a lot of damage to stuff. So it's just. Actually, no, no, I take that back. It's more like a sweeper. This is more like a sweeper set, um, in a way. So, basically, you want to set up with Coma O, um, not at the last minute, but on a Mon that Coma O can actually, you know, set up on. Like, because it has bulletproof, it can set up on Mons that when you use, like, ball like moves, like Shadow Ball, Energy Ball, Focus Blast, it can set up on Mons like that with Autonomize. It can outspeed them, it can do a lot of damage, or even take them out. Um, so. Yeah, um, so Clanging Scales, um, is its other, is this other, uh, dragon, special dragon stab move, the other one, like I mentioned before, is Draco Meteor, but I really don't want, uh, Como to lower its special attack, so I'd rather go with something else. Uh, so what Clanging Scale, um, does, well, it's like a base 100 move, I believe, I believe it's base 100, no, it's base 110, my bad. Um, so it's a base 110 dragon type move that's accurate, unlike Draco Meteor, um, and it lowers your defense, which isn't that bad because, I mean, it's, it can be a little underwhelming because, uh, Como does have really good defense, um, but at the same time, I don't think it really matters too much since Como o will be, you know, outspeeding a lot of stuff, so, really, if it has to take hits, it'll probably take hits, and it'll probably take a priority move, uh, pretty well, even after minus one. Probably from, probably, I don't know how well it could take it from Mamoswan or from Weavile and Ice Shard, um, but regardless though, um, Focus Blast is, is its other stab move and it's going to hit um, the uh, Mons that my team has trouble with. So my team, from the looks of it, as you can see, has some trouble with, you know, ground types and a few rock types here and there. So Focus Blast is there to cover that um, and also Ice types as well. <laughs> um, so it's pretty much there to cover that. Um, and then Poison Jab, that's for the Tapus, um, so once Como can sit up at plus 2, it will outspeed 
um, it will out it will outspeed the Tapus unless, um, you know, Tapu Lele is running Scarf, but everything else will outspeed. Uh, Co Tapu Coco maxes out at base, I mean, at 394 at level 100. I don't know what it maxes out at level 50. Um, if you do know, leave it in the comments, um, because, again, I don't know. <laughs> um, but, actually, I guess I, I could just do that and i guess i could just you know look it up right here but i'm a little too lazy to do that but um anyways let me just uh once como can set up it'll also be the tapus uh, so poison jab is there to check those tapus um so it's a decent check to tapu fini even though it doesn't have the chance of getting you know a poison you know getting it poisoned with poison jab because of um, misty terrain um, it's gonna do four times four times damage to Tapu uh, Bulu since it is Grass and Fairy, so Como O will definitely just destroy Tapu uh, Bulu, and it's gonna do a lot to Tapu Coco. Um, and Tapu Coco doesn't have the best defenses, so it may it may be like a close one shot or it will one shot it, um, depending on if you have hazards up, uh, which is why uh, Mammal Swine is there. But we're gonna go into Mammal Swine very soon. I mean, well, not very soon, but as soon, but pretty soon. Um, so, it's basically the whole premise behind Coma O um, um, with this set. You just gotta set up with it um, on a mon that that it can't that can't really touch Coma O. So uh, yeah, now we're gonna move on to the next mon, which is gonna be Kartana. So Kartana is there to take hits for Coma O. Uh, since Coma O is dragon and fighting, it's gonna be weak to fairy and psychic. So so Kartana is there to absorb those to absorb those hits. Even though, you know, you can see its special defense is pretty bad, actually very bad, at 31, so literally, literally a water gun could just destroy this thing, <laughs> which is pretty sad, um, but it's going to be a max speed, a max attack with the Jolly Nature, and with 4 in that special defense to kind of give it a little bit of help, um, so its moveset is going to be Defog, Leaf Blade, Smart Strike, and Sacred Sword holding the Expert Belt. So Defog is there, so that way, uh, since Como is also holding the Life Orb, um, and plus taking, I mean, with Hazards up, and also Como taking the Life Orb, it's going to take serious um, damage. So you want to have Defog uh, with Kartana to get rid of those Hazards uh, that could be set up on the uh, on your side of the field. So once you get rid of that, I mean, once you get rid of those, once you get rid of those Hazards. Then, then Kartana can, you know, open up the way for Coma O and can just, you know, be that support right there for it. So Leaf Blade, strong stab move, very strong stab move because, you know, that base 181 attack is insanely strong. I think that's stronger than Deoxys attack because I think its attack is like base 180. So I think this might be the strongest attack set in the game. I think, I think, I may be wrong. I think it's actually Karen Black. Um, but basically, Kartana is st stupidly strong. Um, so Smart Strike is there because it's a stab move, and plus it doesn't miss. Well, it will never miss. Um, and then Sacred Sword, um, it's just coverage um, for uh, Kartana. So uh, yeah, that's basically it. Um, that's basically it for Kartana. Uh, now we're going to move on to choice scarf arcanine um rocking the uh rocking light uh wild charge flare blitz close combat and extreme speed being max attack um max speed with the adamant nature so adamant so i wanted to run adamant uh arcanine being choice scarf because i wanted to uh because i wanted to put out the most damage it can um so definitely it definitely can't outspeed Tapu Lele with this set because Tapu Lele is mainly going to be ran timid, so it will get outsped by it. But um, still, that's why you don't want to have Arcanine in on that. But uh, this, but I'm running the Flash Fire um, on Arcanine so that way it can absorb Fire type moves since my team is fairly weak to Fire, um, only having you know two resists being Coma O and Toxapex. So I decided to run that Flash Fire so that way. Arcanine can come in, eat a fire type move, and can just nuke something with Flare Blitz. Um, once it gets that flare, once it gets that a uh, flash fire boost, um, Wild Charge is there. Catch the water types. Um, in on the switch in. Um, 
or the uh, flying types, I guess. Um, close combat. I mean, well, wild charges also to catch Celesteela, um, too. Well, I mean, Flare Bliss is there, too, for it, but just in case, um, I'm locked into wild charge and Celesteela comes in for some reason, I can just wild charge that. Um, and then close combat. That's a, a move that's there for, uh, Arcanine to check stuff that my team is still weak, that my team could be weak to. Like, um, again, ice. Um, well, not ice, but, um, again, like rock types. So that's basically why it's there. And extreme speed is there so that way um so that way if i ever get into a situation where there's a mon that's going to be faster than me then i may as well get out the extreme speed just to get that little bit of chip damage and then have something else come in to deal with it so um yeah that's basically it for arcanine um so yeah um but again you guys can uh change it how you want like you could run jolly if you really want to speed tie with tapu lele i don't really i mean I'm, you can if you want to you can if you want to outspeed if you want to speed tie with tapu lele but to be honest if i were you i'd just run it max attack I man just run run it adamant and just have something else you know eat a hit from tapu lele um so uh yeah, now we're going to move on to the next mon on the team, which is Toxapex. So Toxapex is going to be, I don't know why this is max, I don't, I don't know why it's that, but we're going to change that real quick. Um, so, after the autocorrect, it is, my Toxapex is max HP, max defense, um, with a little bit of special, with a little bit of special defense in it, uh, rocking the, uh, bolt nature. Uh, so its moveset is Toxic Spikes, Baneful Bunker, Recover, and Scald. Um, so Toxic Spikes are really necessary for this team, so that way uh, damage can constantly be racked up um, on the opponent's side of the field. Uh, so basically you want something to get Toxic, um, so that way they can be weakened, and then Como can again come in, do its thing, wreck something, and then come back out. In case it gets into danger or whatever so basically when you have toxic picks you have to keep your you have to keep these hazards up um to whittle down the team i mean to whittle down your opponent's team beautiful bunker is there to uh scout and also to potentially get poisons on stuff but beautiful bunker is kind of a weird move because it's more of a move that you probably run on its other ability being merciless uh I'm saying this because, well, if you guys have ever seen a Poke Games video about Toxapex, then, uh, then you kind of have to, you know, go with his point in being that with Merciless, critical hits get boosted, so if this thing poisons something, then it can get off free, um, crit damage on something, which is, again, that's a really good ability, but... I'm gonna have regenerators so that way Toxapex can live uh, longer and uh, can take hits. So that's why it's there. It's my physically defensive wall to eat those hits. Um, but um, in a situ but um, if you really want to, you can run haze to get rid of mods I want to set up on Toxapex since Toxapex is very free uh, setup flutter. So most people would generally would generally run haze. Uh, so that's an option that you guys can that uh, you guys can go for a uh, recover so that way again Toxpest can get uh, can have some longevity and then skull to burn stuff uh, Also rocking the uh, black sludge to get um, residual recovery um, So yeah, next we have Lilligant so Lilligant is very is a weird mon to have on this team um Originally, I had something else, but I'm not going to talk about that after we talk about the team. So, Lilligant is max HP, uh, max speed, with 8 in special attack. Uh, basically going to be a fast, bulky support set. Um, also rocking the Atibi Nature. So, its moveset is Sleep Powder, Leech Seed, Giga Drain, and Toxic. Now, these two pair very, very well together. Now, do you want to know why they pair so well together? Well, one, Lilligant can eat ground type moves. Two, it can eat electric type moves. And three, since it's since it's decently bulky, it can eat up a psychic type move. I don't know if it can eat up a hit from Tapu Lele, but it can definitely eat a psychic type move. Put something to sleep, leech seed it, 
and then switching to talk space to get some help. Sorry about that. The video had stopped recording. Has stopped uh, recording earlier. Um, but basically where I left off, I was hyping up about Lilligant and how it's a really good mon paired up with Toxapex. Um, so it's a really good mon paired up with Toxapex because Toxapex has a couple weaknesses to it and Lilligant, uh, can, uh, take those hits. Uh, cause Toxapex is weak to Electric, Psychic, um, Ground, um, Psychic, Electric, Ground, and, uh... That's pretty much it. So Lilligant is able to um, take those hits decently well, and then it could put um, the Mon to sleep. And plus, since uh, Lilligant is really fast with that base 90 speed, and plus it's you know timid and such, um, Lilligant is able to get off fast uh, sleep powders. So that's pretty much why um, why Lilligant's on the team. It's basically there to allow Coma O to um, to set up. I mean, to set up for free and also to allow Toxapex and I'm um, about to get into Mammal Swine uh, to allow them to also get up hazards. Um, so there's that. And then Leech Seed is there to, you know, help with, uh, with help with the team as well to uh, get Leech to uh, get some health back. Um, another thing uh, about Lilligan is that it's a decent check. Well, not, it's not really a check. Well, I guess it, it's kind of a check. It's like it's sort of a check to um to Celestia because um Celestia can't actually um use Leech Seed on Lilligant because it's a grass type, so it kind of checks that. Um and plus Lilligant is faster than Celestia, so it can put it to sleep without having to take damage, unless it's an offensive a uh, Celestia. Um, but I think regardless, Lilligant will still outspeed it. Um, so yeah. That's basically um, Lilligan's purpose. And then Giga Drain is there to, again, get more health. And then Toxic is there to wear things down, um, along with Leech Seed. So, that's basically Lilligan. And, yeah. And now we're going to move on to the next one on the team, which is Mammal Swine. So, Mammal Swine is your standard Focus Sash lead with Stealth Rock, Ice Shard, Earthquake, and Stone Edge instead of Icicle Crash. I'm actually breeding this team. I'm actually going to be breeding this team in-game, and I didn't really have time to breed Icicle Crash, so I was just like, you know what, I'm just going to stick with Stone Edge. Um, so, basically, with the combination of Toxic Spikes and Stealth Rocks, it's going to be very, very easy for Coma O to just put in the work because everything's just going to be weared down so much. Um, so, there's that. Um, also, uh, Mammal Swine, actually, I probably should have said it's set, so Mammal Swine is actually going to be adamant, um, max attack, max speed, 4 in special defense, um, again, rocking the focus sash, like I mentioned, and its nature is oblivious because it can't get thick fat until Pokebank comes out, so, pretty much going to be stuck with pre, with, uh, pre-bank oblivious, or snow cloak, but, you know, snow cloak is just a, dumb ability don't don't use it unless you're unless you're that kind of person but i'm not that kind of person um but anyways it's moveset stealth rock ice shard earthquake and stone edge ice shard is there for priority um besides you know hitting tapu lele mia hits everything besides tapu lele so it's good for getting off chip damage on stuff and breaking so i'm um, breaking uh focus ashes then earthquake is its stab move and it's gonna do the most damage to um to mons that again my team has some trouble with like electric like um some electric types or um fire types so um yeah and then stone edge is to catch um basically catch you know like the um to get more chip damage on stuff um and also to potentially get crits means to land crits on things like celesteela um or whatever that may come in so um yeah that's basically it that's basically mammal swine's purpose it's just there to get hazards up and chip things down um for my uh for coma -O, or for arcanine so um yeah so that's basically the team so i mentioned before that um i had that i originally had something else besides Lilligant and also besides mammal swine too so now i'm going to talk about that so let's go back and I'm going to show you guys some options that you can have with this team. 
so here's some options so originally i actually ran a choice band in mudsdale and choice band mudsdale is pretty strong actually it's very strong um it's definitely weaker than mammal swine um since it is you know well technically man well mammal swine wasn't banded but if i did run a if i did run band then it would definitely be stronger than mudsdale but we're gonna be talking about mudsdale so mudsdale is incredibly strong um being choice banded so earthquake just nuke stuff like i think hold on i'm trying to remember um I probably actually you know I'll show I'll end up showing up games me showing games with uh with these mons too um that I had originally and with the new team me and with the team that I just showed um but anyways this move set is earthquake heavy slam rock slide and superpower um being max HP max attack with four in special defense um so earthquake is a strongest stat move um and again it hurts a lot so. Um, it's a again stab move and hurts a lot. Um, heavy slam is to catch the fairies. Um, rock slide does a lot to um does a lot to the flying types or to the um or to other mods that could threaten the team. Um, and then superpower is also there for um, more coverage. Um, actually, um, now I remember something. So. Um, there's so a uh, superpower does about I think 40% to defensive Celesteela or somewhere around then or somewhere around there. So Mudsdale is pretty strong, um, in that um in that light. Uh, with it being Choice Bandit, so it's just able to just whittle things down really, really well for my team, and then Como can again just come in and just do a lot of damage. Now the reason why I actually took off Mudsdale was because. Um, again with that team hazards were very important so again you can go the mudsdale route and you can just go heavy damage and just get like a different stealth rock user um, like for example the one I have up there is mini orb but I'm, but I'm about to get into that one soon um, but yeah again mudsdale is a very good mon and a very hard hitter um, it's definitely not a bad option to use so definitely try it out um, on this team um, at some point. So, anyways, we're gonna go into the other mon I had originally, which was Shenotic. So, Shenotic was specially defensive, max HP, max special defense, with four in special attack. Um, it did. Um, Shenotic is a pretty interesting mon, being grass and fairy, and is another mon that has access to spore outside of Parasect and um, Amoongus. So. It's another mon that's a part of that trio, and I guess you could argue Smeargle too, um, but Smeargle doesn't technically count because it just sketches the move. So never mind. Um, so Shenotic doesn't really get that too, that too many good abilities. Like uh, its only abilities that it gets are Illuminate, um, Effect Spore, and Range and uh, Rain Dish. Rain Dish will be good on a Rain Team, um, of course. So if you wanted to I guess like edit the team a little bit you could have added like I don't know a rain dance team or something um but effect spore is the better option for the team I mean for my team because um because uh there are gonna be some moments where um Shinotic may have to come in eat a hit from something and then that uh, mon can get paralyzed uh or uh, poisoned or put to sleep which is still pretty good um in that in the that way um but anyways this move set is a uh, moon blast leech seed spore and giga drain so pretty much similar to what i had with um actually very similar to what i had with Lilligant, except of course nautic is slower um and it can't really get off those fast uh spores so um yeah but it does get some decent coverage with moon blast um so that's the one thing that shenotic had going for it um and plus you know it was pretty it was very it was decently bulky so it could eat up hits a little bit it could eat it could eat up hits better um especially with the leech seed and such um and with giga drain as well as um and also with the lefties too so shenotic was definitely not a bad option to have on the team um again basically had the same 
uh, the same play style. Well, the similar play style to Lilligant, it's just that it was slower. And it just couldn't get off those uh, fast. I mean, it just couldn't get off those um, those spores in time before it just got nuked by something. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for Shenotic. And now we're going to move on to the other option you can have on this team. So you could run, you know, a, uh, a mini or I mean, you could run mini or with it um, because, again, uh, going back to my team, it is my team is fairly weak to ground. So this is a decent ground. Uh, this is a, a, a mon that is, of course, immune to ground types. So it could just boom. I mean, you could just set up your rocks and then boom on the next turn. And then rocks would be up there for the rest of the game, uh, so it's a, it's definitely a mon that could take advantage of that, um, in that aspect. So you can try a stealth rock, you can use a stealth rock user on the team. You should be using a stealth rock user on the team, um, but again, that's just another option that you can have. Um, then next um, is slow king. So slow king uh, would be a pretty good option on this team. Um, you could have, you could run a dual regenerator core with Toxapex and Slow King. Uh, Slow King because it is a special defensive wall, so it can eat up hits better. Um, it can eat up hits better for Toxapex, I mean, f um, for Toxapex, and they could just kind of have that nice regen core. Um, Slow King could, um, could again deal with things that, uh, with things that Coma was weak to. Like I said, it resists Psychic. Like it can take uh, Moonblast since it is special defensive. Um, so it definitely has an option in that. Um, and then uh, next mon um, is, Elec is um, Electros. So Electros is a decent uh, mon to use on this team as well because one, it has no weaknesses, and two, it has Levitate. So that means you don't have to get hit by ground type moves. And another thing is that you can uh, switch out on things. So this is so you could run. There are definitely a lot of options you can have with this team. Uh, you can run a Volturn core. You can run regener regenerator core with this team. So this team is definitely pretty well balanced, and uh, and definitely a pretty definitely a pretty good team that I feel like I built. So um. Yeah, so in the comments, leave your uh, thoughts about what you think about this team and what you think about my options. Do you think they're viable? Do you think, um, what do you think? Like, do you think there are other mods I could have tried on this team? Um, but again, this is a pre-bank team, so probably if I bring this team back again, I doubt it. But if I ever remember to bring this team back, I may do some tweaks with it in PokeBank and see how it does then. I mean, how, how it does when PokeBank comes out. Um, but, um, yeah, again, these were just options that you can have on the team, um, but try out the team for yourself, see if you like it or not, um, there will definitely be videos, I mean, I'll definitely be uploading battles I had, uh, with different versions of the team, so, yeah, um, so leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed, and, if you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in a battle with this team, take care.